Speak Student. Argument essay a la Schmuck. Is Bieber's hair more awesome than Cousin It's? Should weekends be extended to four days instead of the measly two we currently have? Are dogs better than cats? Say cats are better. No matter how you answered any of these questions, you're already in the thick of an argument. And hopefully, you didn't tick off any cats in the process. They're unforgiving creatures. In writing, arguing has nothing to do with the decibel level of your voice. You're wrong. An argument essay persuades your readers to make a change. This change could be a mental change, a different way of thinking, or an actual change in a policy or practice. It's wide open. Here's a classic example. I'm 16 years old and I just got my driver's license. Therefore, I'm clearly more than capable of driving your new Porsche Turbo. Try saying that to one of your parents, and he or she will probably say, uh, "Yeah, right." But give them evidence and support your claim. Show them how you can drive in reverse in a straight line for 100 feet and parallel park a Hummer into a parking spot meant for motorcycles, and you just might succeed in changing their mind. So when you're presenting an argument, your reader must see things from your point of view. You can't let them just brush it off because they don't agree with you right off the bat. It's on you to persuade them by providing support for your arguments and effectively shooting down any potential counter arguments. All through it, keep your tone civil and polite, or your reader will toss aside your paper. So how is this puppy organized? You've got your intro, a thesis. That states your overall opinion. The body of the essay will have your supporting points, and finally your conclusion, in which you wrap things up neatly. If that seems like a bit much, don't panic. Schmup's writing guide has help and more info on these terms. The argument essay is the most important kind of academic paper because most essays have an element of argumentation, even if it isn't immediately obvious. After all, why are you writing anything at all if it isn't to convince someone of something? The personal statement that you will be writing to get into college—it's an argument that you're awesome. That long Facebook status you just posted about how Taken Two is the best movie of all time—that's right. You're trying to persuade your reader that the oft-derided film is in fact misunderstood. If you're going to turn anyone to your side in this instance, though, let's hope you have a very particular set of skills. See what we mean? Now go on, argue. We can see you're chomping at the bit.